Okay, hi guys. This is going to be a I'm not blog slash haul slash I'm at 2016 New York. Okay, so this was my first year going to IMAX, and well, no, this is technically my second year, but the first year, which was last year, 2015, I went there not knowing that you had to pre purchase your tickets. So, like, I didn't know that was a must. I thought that you could, like, buy the tickets at the door, too. So I got there and I got turned away at the door and yeah, so I pretty much walked from Pier 94 to 42nd and 8th, and I cried, like, the whole time there. I was so distraught, because at that time, makeup was, like, really my world, and just the thought that I couldn't get in, I was right there at the thresholds, really messed me up. So, I walked to, like, 42nd and 8th to the Sephora over there, and, yeah, I got my life in there. I was so upset, though. So, first things first, what I got as, at IMAX, I went there, and let me just say that I went there, I got there a little bit before 10, and the line was packed. Like, the line was all the way down to, like, the water, and, of course, I got there, and I was, like, one of the last people on the line. And I'm like, oh my god. And it was a little cold too. Then the sun started shining and it actually became kind of hot. And then I was mad that I actually wore a jacket. So, anyways, the line surprisingly started moving really fast and everybody got in. And pretty much by the time I got in, they, you know, they see, take your ticket, your ID. I had my ticket, my passport. And lady pretty much told me, go into the right at check in they she, she told me no she told me go into the left that's what so she told me go into the left so the first thing that i saw was they had like these bags here and these are just like the imap bags where you um you know if you buy a lot of stuff and you just need like extra bags this is what they give you so anyways i got a bag i got a couple of bags actually and then Straight across from there was the outcome, so that's like section 302. First thing I saw was the Scandinavia products, which I really wanted. I had the MAC Fix Plus, and I love that stuff, but I just wanted to try this, so I got two of their primer sprays. So I got their primer spray and oil control, and then also I have their uh, makeup finishing spray, and two of these, these are the four the four ounces bottle so two of these are fifty dollars and what's so cute is once you get these they'll give you like a little sample of like the primer spray that you can just carry around in the bag so i thought that was really great got that then i got on the morphe line and let me tell you i waited an hour on the morphe line it was very very long but while i was waiting on the morphe line i met somebody named nydia she's a makeup artist freelance makeup artist and she sorry I'm just like looking for myself yeah we wind up like they paired us off because it was so many people the Morphe line was so long there was so many people on that line had to be like 300 people on the Morphe line and so they paired us into twos so that whole hour that we were online it was just me and her and and got her because I went to I matched by myself and yeah I was kind of lonely that first 10 minutes I was there by myself. And I was just like, why didn't I bring a friend? None of my friends are in makeup. I actually don't have a lot of friends. And none of them are in to makeup. My mom didn't get a ticket. I would I would have went with my mom. My boyfriend, I didn't get him a ticket. So I pretty much wound up going by myself. And I was kind of bummed out about it the first 10 minutes. And then I met somebody, which was great. So, yeah, cool. Oh, I'm going to show you these later. So, I'm just going to try to show you ooh, everything that I got in chronological order. So, I stood on the Morphe line for about hmm, an hour and 20 minutes. And the first thing once you got in were the palettes. So, I got two palettes and they both went for $19. Now, I already have the 35 old palette and... I already have the 35k palette, which is good because while we were standing on that line, as soon as we got to the front, the guy was like, if you're here for the 35 old palettes, we already sold out. And I was just like, good thing I already got it. But Nydia, which was the girl that I met online, she wanted it, so I kind of go back for her, but 
So you can always get it online when they re when they restock them. So you can always get it online. So the first palette I got was the 35P palette. It is the 35 shades and it's the plum, pretty much the ooh, can get it open. The plum shade. It's really, really pretty. Um so pretty much it's a whole bunch of mauves and a whole bunch of yeah, like brownish mauvey colors. And I really wanted this because it is about to be spring and yeah, gotta get those spring colors going. So I just put that let me swatch a few. So I'm gonna swatch this one. So I'm gonna swatch them and then I'm just gonna show you what I swatched. So this is the first shade. I don't know if it's going to pick up on my camera that well, but they're super duper duper pigmented. And usually the palettes are about $23, and then plus you have to pay for shipping, so $19 was like a really good deal. I'm trying to see if I'm recording on my, my um, excuse me, I'm recording on my laptop, so it might not be like the greatest. Then after that, it's like a plum shade. You can't really see it that well, so let me try to get these watching. It's like a really pretty, muddy, dusty color. This purple right here, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. So it's kind of like a little, a little bit. Oh, it's not really picking up great. So, you know what? What I'll do is I'll swatch the vibrant color. So, like, you see this? Ooh, ooh, this is so pretty. Yes, I really love this. This is so pretty. Alright, so let's swatch it right here. You see that? That is like a purpley lilac color. It's not picking up the greatest on camera. It looks a little silver, but it's like a really nice purple. And then it's like, like a lilac color. Here's like a deeper purple. And it's not picking up the best, so I'll definitely be doing a tutorial with these, so don't worry about it. And I'll use my actual camera, which is dead right now, so all the shades will pick up. So, yes, I got this. Let me just put that back in here. Also, like, comment, and subscribe because everything that I got in my mask, I'm going to be busting out tutorials with. And yeah, get my, my channel like on and popping. Oh, dang. Lift this out of it. These are important. So, if your shadows break, these are going to pretty much secure them so that they don't get any color onto the other shadows. So, that's great. Make sure I put that back in there. What else did I get? What else did I get from Morphe? I actually got... What did I get? I got the Morphe 35T palette. So this is the taupe palette. I'm not going to swatch them because they, my swatches wasn't really coming up on camera. But this is a really, really pretty, really, really pretty palette. It has a whole bunch of taupe like bronzy shimmery colors i think this is the palette that has the most hmm all right maybe i'll say the least matte shades so I, let me count it's about one two three four five six seven so seven matte shades and the rest of them are pretty much shimmers and velvets it's so pretty like I said, I'm not taping on the, my regular camera, so the swatches are not going to come up. But I'm definitely going to make a definitely going to make a tutorial with this one too. So don't worry, just subscribe and you'll see that. Um, but yeah, this this palette is a little similar to the 35 Peak palette, but the Peak palettes are geared to plums. 
this is more of a mauvey taupe kind of shade so really you could probably just get one and just be happy with it but me i had to get two for 19 dollars no shipping i'm gonna have it that day i had to get two so yeah that's just me but i'll check it to morphe so when you're on the line they pretty much give you a bucket and you pick up there's a whole bunch of like um like ambassadors for morphe helping you get yeah, asked them what's best for this so pretty much my basket, I had like every brush there. Knowing, you know, good and well that I didn't want all those brushes. But I just like have FOMO. So I just was like, let me just get it. Let me just get it. So I had about a good, I counted. When I got to the brushes, I had like about a good 30 brushes. I wind up buying two. I wind up buying two, but I got three. So somehow this one fell into my bag and honestly I'm not that mad about it but yeah it just fell in my bag so I got a little freebie oh well it didn't hurt them one bit it was like hundreds everybody that went into iMaster that day definitely got on that line got on the morphine line so they made mad money so pretty much the first thing I got though was the G3 this isn't the first thing I picked up but this is what I actually got. And it's actually a little dirty. What's up with that? So yeah, so this is the G3. So I see like many MUA with this all the time. But the under eye concealer, it's really dense brush. It's really soft brush. So it's really gonna get like under the eye really well. And yeah, I can't wait to get to start using this and you know, putting this into my kit. Now if I do like you know how this formula, how this works. I'm definitely gonna get another one. I really like that I got the gum metal collection because this is the cutest. They had like the whole collection there. They have the all black and everything, but I didn't really like that. I wanted to get a bronzer brush, but the lady that was helping me, like the way the line was, everybody was, you know, obviously in the line. But if you didn't want, mm, let me just tell you, it was the palette section, then it was the brushes section, and then it was the other stuff. If you didn't want a palette and you wanted all brushes you were allowed to skip over so it wasn't just like oh you have to go through the, the whole entire line you were allowed to skip over, skip over. so it's a lot of chaos so I just wanted them getting what I got that's why I picked up so many things because I just kept moving anyways I also got the G29 which is this little itty bitty bitty wing eyeliner brush so this is going to be good for little wing cat eyes getting it precise it's so super small and thin like the key to a good cat eye is a thin brush. You guys see how thin this is? How little this is? So I have good faith in this brush that so this is really gonna work for me. And yeah, I hope I hope it does. My on my freebie that I got here, which is the I don't even know what brush this is, honestly. It's a part of the gun. It's the G13. They all have their little things right here. So it's the G13. And this is a Okay, so this is a blending brush, and honestly, I don't really like this blending brush. I might, you know, give this away, maybe in a giveaway. I'll sanitize it and everything. So I might give this away in a giveaway. So maybe stay tuned and maybe you might get something. But the really cool thing that was at Morphe is that, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm saying sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The really cool thing that was at Morphe at the um, IMAX, this is an IMAX exclusive, is that they were giving out their new concealers, which are great. So I'm going to swatch these because these will definitely show up on color. So she color matched me, the lady that was there. And she color matched me for a highlight and then also a contour shade. Now, to be honest with you, I do not like, I do not like the highlight she matched me for. I feel like it's a little too pink, but, alright, I just took it. I figure if I don't like it, I can definitely build up my kit with it. And, oh yeah, don't mind these swatches. These swatches were from LA Splash, and I'll show you the stuff I got from them um, later, but yeah, these things. These lips, liquid lipsticks, I feel like they're going to be like the best because they don't come off. Like they are, I don't know if you can see, but they are stuck on there. Like I, I, I just want them, 
at this point just come off but let me swatch this for you I'm going to swatch it right next to the lipstick so you guys can get a good idea of what it looks like let me just tell you like I felt it when she swatched it for me these things are really creamy really really creamy these things are not dry at all so if I think these will be great for like a dry under eye. It's so creamy and so buttery. Look. See, I don't know how well this is picking up on camera. But it has a pink undertone. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. So, but it has like a pink undertone. And I'm not, I don't have a pink undertone. I have a yellow undertone. So I really didn't like that that much. But I'll try it out. I'll do, like I said, I'll do a tutorial with it. See how it works for me. But if it doesn't work for me, I can always use it on like a client or something. So yeah, what color was that? That was toast. So she can she matched me for under eye concealer for toast. I also got matched for the shade fudge, and it is obviously a fudge like color. It is just a comes like this it is a darker concealer so like for a contour shade it's actually really nice it's really moussey like the formula for this is really great it's like a moussey type of some moussey type of um concealer so this is actually kind of really dark for me but you know i think it, this is definitely going to blend out really well so okay i'm just going to do that and just leave that there just cuz but this is gonna blend out really well so I got that I got match for that and this is again fudge so I got one that was just a bright color just because I wanted a bright color so yeah this is the shade oats this comes like the rest of them and this one is like super duper bright, like yellow. Honestly, I said a bright color. I didn't give her an exact color because I was trying to hurry up and get off the line. But this is a little too bright. But I think if I mix this, because this has a yellow undertone, if you guys can see if it's picking up. This has a yellow undertone. And the, the one she matched before has a pink one. If I mix them, I think that would be perfect. But these are like so creamy and buttery. Like for real, so premium buttery that you ain't gonna have no dry under eyes with these, which is great. So yeah, we'll just put that back in the Morphe bag. After Morphe, what did I do? After Morphe, what did I do? I stood on that Morphe line for about an hour and a half. I was shopping for about 30 minutes, and then, hmm. I went over where? Where did I go? Oh, you know where I went? I went to Valor. No, that's not where I went. That is not where I went at all. Oh where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, I went to Dalian Tools. So I got a Dalian Tools 957 brush, which is just a Kabuki precision brush. And I really like them because they are cheap. You can find them on Amazon, find them on their website. And pretty much the brush was $10, I think, on Amazon. You know, Amazon is like 12 or something, but it's still a good deal. It's only $2, but still. Now, I like this company because they have like tons of blending brushes that are really nice. I usually get them from Amazon. It comes in two days because, you know, the prime. And like their 785 brush. For like the crease, I really love that brush. It's a little um, coarse, but it really gets the job done in terms of blending. But I'm super psyched to try this one out, so can't wait to do that. Like I said, tutorial, tutorial will definitely be up on there. After that, I went to Belore Lashes, and Belore was having a sale there. They was having actually a really good sale, in my opinion. So it was about 30% off. It was, eyelashes are like $30, depending on select styles. And then pretty much all the styles I got were originally $30 when I got them for $20. Now, that's about 30%. Oh, so pretty much I just got two. And I got them in the shade, 
Oh, well, pretty much they come like this. I actually never had mink lashes before, so I'm very excited. And what color did I get? What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so these are Wispy Sweet Nothing. So like Whisper Sweet Nothing. These are Wispy Sweet Nothing. And these are like gorgeous, gorgeous. My mom wants them. I'm like, uh, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so. But like I said, these are mink. They're so soft. They're so pretty. They're 100 Oh my god. I just. My first pair of mink lashes. These were the first pair I picked out. And then I was like, what the hey? They're, they're $20. I might as well get it. Because I got some Sephora lashes that I've also never wore. And they were $17.99 plus tax $20. And they're silk lashes. So for mink lashes, I might as well. And I got the other. I got another pair. They are. Naughty me, so these are really gorgeous as well. They're re these ones are really thick. The other ones obviously are wispy, but these are kind of thick. Nice, I love these, and they were super duper nice, along with the, along with the mm, brain part, along with the eyelashes. They gave me like a lollipop, which I gave to my son, but it was super cute. It was really big. It was like a like a munchkin lollipop from like Wizard of Oz. What else did I get from it? What else did I get from it? Oh no, I also got some lash glue. Just lash glue. Some flares, about five dollars. Next to it, so it was the lower lashes and right next to it it was like a variety store. Sorry, I just had to blow that over. And there I got the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. They actually had them in the they have them in the small, medium, and then I got like the little compact size. So I got the one for twelve dollars. The other one were like fifteen, and then like twenty. But I never tried it before. I have the Laura Mercier, and I really like that. But that one's translucent, and this one is yellow undertone. I also have the Graftovian yellow banana cream pie. I don't really like that one that much, but it's yellow undertone, so it does the trick sometimes. But I'm really excited to try this, because as you guys know, this has been a YouTube, like, fan favorite fan subscriber. I didn't get the bag for them, because I only got one item. And you know what? They tend to give out tons of bags, and you're just walking around with tons of bags, and you have, like, one item in it. I have a couple of items that are actually like that. So after I went there, I think my friend ate. And I, where did I go? I don't know where I went. I don't know. Oh, okay, I know where I went. I actually want to show you guys something. So, while I was at IMAX this year, guess who I met? I met, if I could find her. Oh my god, I can't find her. So, oh. I met Melissa. Yeah, so. Oh, you can't see it through my phone. I met Melissa Altora at Smith Brushes. She was working behind the stands, and I was like super duper excited to meet her. I pretty much was starstruck or YouTube struck. Hmm. However, way you want to say it. And I pretty much only got this one thing from Smith Brushes, but. Do you guys see this? As you can see, I have very small eyes. But they're a little bit hooded. And this is just going to be really good for getting into there, making a cut crease. So this brush ran me about $19, but this is worth it. So worth it. It's pretty similar to the MAC 224 brush. I think it's the MAC 224. I'm not sure if that's the number. It's a MAC blending brush, except it's pointed. And she really helped me. They had this brush and they had another one that was pretty much the same but it's not pointed. So she really helped me out with that, like deciding which one. And then I was just like, you look familiar. And she's like, oh, I do YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, it's you. I didn't say it like that. But I'm like, oh my God, it's you. I follow you. I'm, I'm your subscriber. I got you on YouTube. I got you on everything. 
I'm like, oh my god. So I couldn't really ask her anything because nothing was coming to mind. I was just like, she's standing right here. It's so weird because you watch these YouTubers on YouTube for years, and then when you see them, you're like, hmm, mom's the word. But she's super duper beautiful in person. Her eyes are like really blue. Like they look green on her channel but they're really blue and she had like blue eyeshadow too they were like gorgeous stunning so pretty much i left her a comment on her page just telling her that i was happy to meet her and everything and that she said she needed to do um a hooded eye tutorial on deeper skin tones so i was like if you ever need somebody i definitely will be that person for you as long as you're in new york so very happy I went and stopped in and very happy to meet Melissa Altor. I think that's how you say her last name, Altor. I don't know. But yeah, I was so happy to meet her. After that, I pretty much split up with my friend. And I wind up just going my own way. Yeah, so... I got on the Anastasia line, and then I got up there, and they wasn't that. Well, their eyeshadow pans were $8 instead of 12 They had a little sale. They had, um, their liquid lipsticks were, excuse me, 16 instead of 20 But I don't like their formula, so it wasn't that big of a loop for me. I wind up just going to, where did I go next? BH Cosmetics. And excuse me. Oh, so I went to the H Cosmetics. They had a super short line, which was great. I got this. This is a brush case. This is their studded couture 12 piece brush case. And I really got this because you can use more brushes, but the brush case is just so cute that I was like, alright, I'll move this in my way. So it looks like this. Now, BH Cosmetic Brushes. Ooh, and it's cute because it has the two little flaps and this comes off. Oh, okay, so you could have two stand, two cases. Okay, cool. But yeah, BH Cosmetic Brushes are okay. They're not the greatest and they're definitely not the worst. They definitely will get the job done if, you know, you need the job done. These will definitely get the job done. They're so soft, though. They're just like a kit thing. So if you want to put them in your kit, great. Extra brushes. Who couldn't couldn't use extra brushes? Just like okay, so this is like a angled powder brush or yeah, angled powder brush. I would use this for. This is a hmm, flat foundation brush. I don't know why I got a brain fart on it. This is like a smaller flat foundation brush. I would use this like right here. To like put on concealer. This is like a little kabuki brush. You know, flat top kabuki, really cute. Side note, look at the color. It's like a tan and and white, and just really cute. I just really like the it color. It's really cute. Also comes with a blending brush, which is must needed. Everybody needs multiple blending brushes. You should always have like four or five different ones at least. I know a girl that has 500 brushes. I know she hates cleaning all of those brushes. I know she does. It's a, a bigger, um, excuse me, a bigger blending brush. Really cute. A hmm, shader brush. Yes, a shader brush. A angled, a angled brush. This is a hmm, eyeliner brush. This is really small as well, so this is really cute. But I don't know how well it's going to work on your eye, like your cat eye, but it can definitely do the trick for your, definitely do the trick for your, um, oh, sorry, for your um, eyebrows. <sighs> I'm tired. Actually, I just got back. And it was very tired, so I got up at like 7 in the morning. This is like, this could be like a bronzer brush. I could use this for a bronzer too. Yeah, this could be like a bronzer brush. See, they, they brushes don't have any names. 
I think this is brush number three. So this is called brush number three. I just actually just now see the numbers. This is brush number four. This is like a little bullet brush. This, this is like an angle. Like maybe if you wanted to put the cream contour right here. That's what that's good for. All in all, the brushes are okay. Like I said, this was sixteen dollars. It comes with a case. It comes with like sixteen brushes. It's worth it. Especially if you're new and you're just gonna start it. Like I just started on the yeah, cosmetic brushes and I still haven't used it. As far as blending, they might not be the best blending brushes, but they'll definitely get the job done. And like I said, if you're just starting, they're worth it. And besides, this is just, this is so cute. Put that back on there like so. And boom, all the brushes are gone. That's what I really like. This is this own little case. It's freaking great. And awesome. I have a whole bunch of brushes and they're just everywhere. Like I have a acrylic case holder, but still. Oh so anyway. Back to the edge cosmetics. What else did I get from that? I got this wild and radiant. Baked illuminating, uh, illuminating bronzer palette, and I'll just open this now because it's not gonna stay closed forever. Look, I'm, not, I'm an animal. Ah. Definitely an animal right now. Oh. That's probably really nasty. Oh, I wish I would have got the curly lash too. Now that I think about it, I have a little lashes. I probably. Oh well, I'll get them. I'll order them online. So yes, this is the baked illuminating bronzer palette. It's really pretty. It comes down with a little sticky. I'm gonna swatch these two. So this one and the bottom. Let me see if it comes up. Looks a little like this. Really nice. And then I swatched this one right next to it. Oh, that one is oh really nice too. Really nice one. Like medium to medium tan and deep skin tones. I think this would work really nice. Or they also have a rosy one, which I'll put right here. It's really nice. Like I said, these things aren't really showing up on my camera right now. So you guys know, just subscribe and you'll see videos of it. And I'll film it with my actual camera instead of my computer. But I did a little vlogging there. And, oh yeah, I met the creator owner of the IMAX brand I was sitting down eating with him which was like crazy to me so when I do like my little when I get my um, film off my camera I'll definitely insert that later on so yeah at BH Cosmetics I got the BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette so looks like this and I thought this was really cute to put on your kit I've seen other YouTubers like Tom the Infamous use it and I think this would really work very well. So here on the bottom you have like the brow wax and I just dip my fingers into them. So we so have like three, no one, two, three. This is the wax for the brow. So you put the wax on first and then you put your brow on for the powders. But you get like three waxy shades and then you get eight powders. So it's like a universal thing. This is great for a kid. Especially if you're just getting started and you don't have like enough money to get like Anastasia, the big brand names that aren't the greatest, but you know, everybody gets them because you know, you see them on YouTube and everything. But if you're just getting started, this is not the best thing that you can get, but this will definitely do the trick. It will work universally on lots of, lots of people. What else did I get from BH Cosmetics? Actually, I think that's all I got from BH, so let's put this back. Nothing's in this bag. After I went to BH, I went to LA Splash, which was, like I told you, all of these, 
LA Splash. They're not coming off no time soon. So these are like probably great liquid lipsticks. I've never had. I can't talk. Liquid lipsticks. I've never had them. Never tried their formula. But some of them feel really drying and some of them feel moussey. They have different, like, they have a luster lip, studio shine, smitten lip tint. They have lip couture. And so I got hmm, four liquid lipsticks and a glitter from them. So I kind of opened these already to show my mom. I got a smitten lip tint in the shade GG. Actually, I don't have anything on my lips right now. So, yeah. This shade PG, and this is really gorgeous. I'm gonna just swatch this right here if you guys can see it. It's like a mauve type of mm, beige orange undertone. I'm just gonna cut some on. Why not? I don't even know if it's coming out, but oh wow. This is so pretty. I just wanted to cut this on as soon as I saw it. So, this is a. Ooh, got on my teeth. Mmm, it feels really nice on lips. This one's not drying at all. I'm not gonna be able to swatch the other ones on my lip, but. This one's not drying at all. It's a really peachy type of undertone. It's really cute. Good for spring. I got this. Came in this little organza, this little organza bag. Um, I got a velvet matte liquid lipstick, and it is in the shade Angel Cake. So it's another nudie type of color. As you guys can see, that's probably... You guys can probably see that's the things I go for most. And let me just make sure this is going to pop up. Okay, so this is better. Can you guys see the shade? Mm, this is really nice too. I'll do, don't worry, I'll do swatches of these. I will do liquid lipstick swatches because... Yeah, I don't know. Which sucks, but we're gonna get this video done because I've been trying to do this forever. Okay, that is that. Did I get another smitten? Oh yeah, I did get another smitten. This is the skate the shade sculpt. And sculpt is like a really pretty mustardy brown, like it's not a deep brown, it's just like really like a yellow tone brown and all of their lip glosses were there ooh this one's gonna show really nice you see that? it's gorgeous yeah it's like a brownish reddish mustardy yellow undertone type of thing but anyways all of these were five for sixty so I got five it's four lips, five liquid lipsticks for 60 and five um, glitters for 50 but I got I got four lipsticks and one glitter so and this one is the lip couture liquid lipstick this is in the shade lollipop and this is definitely gonna show up on camera I have no worries about that so yeah this is I'm just having swatch problems the shade lollipop is like a very pink color very girly very spring i honestly want to put this on now but i'm not going to do it I'm not going to do it let's do that then i got the black jack glitter which is ooh, comes like this really cute little ball the glitter ball what else did i get From Sigma, I got the, I only got one thing, and I got the E25. And it's just a blending brush. It's similar to the Smith brush. It's similar to the MAC brush. But it was only $11, so I had to get it. You can never have enough of these. These go in your kit. 
you need multiple colors, good for that. Alright, so we're dwindling down what I got. Uh, so I went to a company called MBA Cosmetics. So it looked like this, a little bag they gave me. That's really cute. A little, little bag they gave. I wrap my stuff up really nice. Now what I will tell you is that their items are really, really nice. I just didn't get a lot of them because... I don't know why I didn't get a lot of them. Oh, I'm just putting this behind my ear. I didn't get a lot of them because... Uh, I just felt like, okay, I have shades like this already. And... They're nice, but if I like them, I can go online and buy them. I didn't want to spend that much money. By this time, I'd already spent like two something. And honestly, I only want to spend like 300, no more than four. So I pretty much stayed in my budget. I got this shade right here, Tiger Lily. And then obviously, you can see it is like a burnt, burnt orange. This is good for. This is a warm shade, so it's really good for sunset eyes. It's good for um, a multitude of eyes. Definitely the fall. I really love warm tone so I had to get this it was only four dollars I got their I'm not gonna open these up because my computer is about to die but I got their matte white approved eye and lip so this is like an eye and lip like shadow thing it's good for cut creases so I got it also got a dark fantasy which is just another black now all of these were four dollars I got no this is not from them and I got an MB MBA Cosmetics, perfect, like, a litter adhesive. Went to another store, I went to Lit, so Lit Cosmetics. I got their Clear Liquid Glitter Base. This was only $5. I really like it, it's really cute. You can never, you know, have, a, you know, a lot. You can never have enough glitter glue. Is that it? I felt like I had more than that. Okay, well, I guess that's it. That's all I got. I spent, I went there with like 1100 a little more than 1100 Camping home with like 8 840 So you guys do the math. Went there with like 1150 Coming home with 840 So do the math. I didn't spend a whole bunch of money. I didn't get a whole bunch of things but I didn't do that because Sephora is having their VIB sale and I'm definitely going there because I spent a lot of money in Sephora not to take advantage of the 15% off. So I definitely need stuff from there and I'm definitely going to do that. So I'll do a little Sephora haul too. So yeah thanks for watching and subscribe like comment under below and um yeah I'm going to be pushing out these videos with these new products. Please subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, that's pretty much all I got. Snapchat and Instagram. I'll put like the information in the down bar below. And yeah, thanks guys for watching.